welcome back to the lounge. Ready for a little conversation? Mm -hmm. I am, but first, did you peep? I ain't got on all black today, but don't get used to it. I'll be back, but today I wanted to show a little love to my son rocking the Kosher Apparel Collection 3. Mm hmm, three. So, um, yeah, let me, let me get my model on real quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I will put the link in the description in case you're interested. But anyway, today we got a question. Why do you feel the good guys finish last? Do you think they finish last? I, yeah, Canada, you know, I, I do. I will be the first to admit, oh, in my heyday, baby, my priorities were all jacked up. When I say all jacked up, all jacked up. I was a bit shallow, looking for the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? He had to be swagged out, smelling good, looked a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I like the man that walked with a strong, dominant presence. Like, boom, bam, bam. I mean, okay, I say strong, but I ain't talking about them Ike Juniors. No, but just so you know, a man's man, you know what I'm saying? I just sometimes felt the nice guys were a bit, sometimes of a snooze fest, you know, a bore, mm, a little predictable. Uh, I even had a preconceived notion that that bedroom game might not have been any good. I mean, I'm sorry, this is what I thought. You know what I'm saying? I can't say back in my day, I dated a lot of good guys. I always gravitated towards a certain type. I had a type. I was told I still have a type, but I do have different values when looking for a mate, okay? I even had a conversation with my good guy and he really believes that good guys finish last. He assumes that we only come back to the good guys after we've had all the heartbreaks, you know, ran through all the bad guys, and now we need to run on back over here to a good guy that knows how to properly love us, you know? Now we want the niceness. I ain't gonna say, but even with the swag doll, you know, the bad boys or the the other types, the dominant types, the alpha males, you know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all just can't be nice. Like, why you gotta be like that? You know, I don't I don't know. But I I so I could kinda agree, even with my experience, I can look back and be like, yeah, um I might have jacked over a few good guys. Everyone has different qualities, different expectations, different types. So guess what? Some girls like the bad boys. Some girls like the good guys. I mean, and that's fair. Everybody need love. Everybody, everybody. Everybody, everybody. But you know, if you are dating a bad boy, are you truly happy? Are you settling? If you're dating a good guy, are you settling? Are you settling because he's a good guy, but you might be bored, you know? You don't like life with them. You don't enjoy doing things. You don't enjoy the bedroom. You don't enjoy conversation. Everything is predictable. With your bad boy, it's a thrill, but you might have a few extra challenges with dealing with them on a daily. What are your experiences? Do you date a bad boy or do you date a nice guy? If you are with the bad boy, what keeps you there? The looks, the finances, that bedroom game? I'm just curious. I mean, I've had my experiences, but I'm curious about yours. You know, I can't be the only one who have liked a certain type during certain phases of their life, but now are looking for a whole different type of man. I can't be the only one. Tell me what you got going on. Tell, tell me your qualities. What do you look for in a man? Whether it's a good man or well, most men are good or some men are good, but whether it's a bad boy or Mr. Nice Guy. Would you give Mr. Nice Guy a second look? If he was the nicest thing ever, but he just did not hold your attention, but he loved you, took care of home, 
you know, he was attentive to your mental needs, your physical needs, your emotional needs, all of those important needs. But he didn't have the swag. He didn't have the, the thing that just made you go, oh, oh, oh. Mm. if he had that, but he had all of the important traits. Do you keep him? Or are you settling because you're not 100% into him, but you know he's a good man? Or when you're with that bad dude, are you with him because he does make you go? Or are you settling because of that? Like, I, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm curious on your experience. Go ahead, share them with me down there. Tell me about your qualities. What are your expectations when dating a mate? Let's talk about it, okay? Let's talk about it. Until we follow up, don't forget to live your life unapologetically every day. See you next time. Bye.